Welcome to the Sage Advice Podcast, transforming the way people think and work so their organizations can thrive. Well, hi, everyone, and welcome to our podcast. I'm Ed Kless, and with me today is Mark Stout from Boomer Consulting. Mark is the, Mark is the Chief Innovation and Technology Officer. Welcome to the Sage Advice Podcast. Thank you very much, Ed. It's an honor to be here. I'm having a ball. Yes, and we're having a ball too. This is the first ever podcast that we are doing in virtual reality on Verbella, which is an event center that you guys have put together for the Boomer Consulting, Boomer Technology Circles. And first question for you, Mark, is why do you do what you do? <laughs> it's such a great question, Ed. Uh, for me, it's really about a passion for technology and um, you know, I've, I've got the heart of a geek and I've always loved technology, but when I was first starting to get into the field, I really, really struggled with how many uh, technology solutions were inapproachable to people. It wasn't something that they felt comfortable with. It wasn't something that they felt like they could take advantage of. And I chose to get into technology uh, initially to help people be able to adopt that technology and, and make it something that was going to improve their lives and their jobs. And as I went further along with the, the, the technology, I realized that oftentimes it's not just the technology itself that people need to understand. It's, it's the strategy that goes along with that. And there's a, a big component for, for businesses to understand how to leverage the technology, how to get the most out of technology and and I get completely geeked up talking about how businesses can really leverage technology and strategy together to have much more of a competitive advantage than either of them could be on their own. Well, and that technology leveraging is clearly in display today as we're sitting here in virtual reality world of Verbella, uh, where, as I mentioned, we are having the Summit 2020 for the Boomer Technology Circles. And so you were the guy who put this all together, or at least the one who tracked all this stuff down. So talk to us a little bit about, first of all, how maybe you found Verbella, and then also what's it been like putting together a virtual reality conference? Yeah, it's it's definitely been been absolutely crazy, and you know, 2020 has kind of pushed us all into uh, more of an innovative frame of mind. Uh, this has definitely been a team effort. There is no way that we could have pulled off something like this without every single person at Boomer uh, chipping in and contributing. Uh, but to find the platform, that was the real challenge. Um, I had a vision for what I really wanted a virtual summit to be like. And one of the things that was just super, super important for, for me and, and for Boomer Consulting as a whole was to make sure that we were doing something that was really interactive, that people felt like they were a part of, and um, not just watching somebody standing in front of a camera um, talking and not really being able to, to see them. Uh, so much of the communities is really about the connections, the connections between the people and the connections between the sponsors, that we wanted to find a platform that would, would bring that out. There's nothing like being live. There's just a lot of things that I think we all miss and we would love to be able to share a, a frosty drink with each other. But how could we recreate that feeling of being able to sit down across the table and, and have an interactive conversation with each other. That's what we were looking for. Uh, and, and we went through and looked at 20, 30 different platforms that were out there and couldn't quite choose one of them over the other. A lot of them had a, a, you know, very similar feature sets until we came across Verbella. And uh, of course, our founder, Gary Boomer, was the, the first one who brought this to our attention. Uh, he was uh, he had seen something that Peter Diamandis had done, and he brought that to us and, and we dove in and started saying, hey, this is how we might be able to make this work for us and to give our clients and our sponsors the the most amazing experience that we could we could figure out. And you've certainly done that. And and uh, those of you who are, are watching this in a couple of different places that we're going to post this, will see that I we are literally sitting across from the table in, in one another in this virtual reality. And there are people walking by and you see some of my sage colleagues in the background there. And there's even if you see uh, the little light blue 
lights on the floor to indicate that you're in different areas where conversations can be had. And we're inside a conversation inside a conversation because the Sage booth is around us. We're not hearing the conversations that perhaps Wendy's having in the background there, but you and I are having this conversation and it's completely private and just the two of us. And I think that's really cool. Yeah. You know, it, it, it means that we can be part of something bigger, but we still have time for that one-on-one interaction. And so, as you mentioned, these spaces are all over the place. There's little chairs and little cubby holes, just like there really would be in a live conference setting where you can go and say, hey, you know what? I really want to talk to you real quick. Can we just you know, step aside and have a chat? So there's all these different tables, booths, areas. Um, those, what we call them the cone of silence, are, are one of the features that we find really help bring people together because they can have the smaller interactions just as much as the larger group setting interactions. Yeah, and it was quite cool. One of the things that I appreciated was the ability to teleport from one session to the other without having to walk <laughs> around. You're just like, okay, not that one. Yep, okay, that one. I'm going to stay here. That's pretty cool. <laughs> yes, exactly. The teleporting is is pretty amazing, but I think that being able to kind of explore the world a little bit has also been a lot of fun and has added kind of kind of to the uniqueness and kind of the whimsy of the solution as well, because, you know, there's all sorts of things people have discovered. They've climbed to the top of the, uh, the lighthouse. They've driven, uh, motorboats around on the, the water that's out there. It's, it's very fun and it gives people that opportunity to really become part of the world and become comfortable interacting in that world. And I think that's been one of the most amazing things to me is seeing people kind of trying to figure out the controls and is it natural this way or that way? Uh, when they first log in, but within an hour or so of them moving around and, and really committing to it, it's like it's natural. There's so many different great expressions and things that people can do. It's it's very cool stuff. Yeah, pretty neat. Uh, and w- uh, there you go. Just uh, thinking. I, I think that's the thinking gesture you just did, which was awesome. It is. Yeah. And the other thing that that I, I really did like, and perhaps you know, future versions is something like this would would be great where we're having this conversation and really cool at some point to maybe you know, zoom out to maybe incorporate video at at a certain point, right? And I think that that's where the, yes. potentially this is going. But what this has given us is an idea for, I think, really what's possible. I, I think that there's a lot of leverage, uh, things that we can leverage in learning that you guys are certainly doing around this. Because uh, let, let's face it, we're talking in the middle of the COVID-19 crisis, and even if there's a vaccine tomorrow, there's still going to be a tremendous number of people who aren't going to want to travel for quite some time. And I think what we have to get used to is the idea of not necessarily all virtual conferences, but some kind of a, a combination of the two. Yeah, a hybrid, right? Mm-hmm. Where where people who are comfortable can go, um, but it, it's going to expand the opportunities there as well. And that's that's really the way we're looking at it. We at, at Boomer Consulting feel like you know things have changed, and they're probably not going to go back to the way they were. So, what does the future look like? And as visionaries. How do we start racing towards that and embracing it and learning it and showing the profession all of the really neat ways that people can take advantage of technology that, that frankly, already exists? Uh, and we see it, it accelerating and, and them adding additional features and functionality in as fast as they can right now. So, you know, this really is kind of a, a great leap forward as far as innovation and technology goes. Absolutely. So, Mark, we have an exit question that we ask all of our guests, and that is, who is a hero of yours, and why are they a hero? <laughs> Another great question. Um, you know, there, there's so many that I could choose from. Uh, you know, Einstein's one that I always look at, but I have to tell you that an underrated one that I just don't think enough people know the story of is Alan Turing. And, you know, he's, he's kind of the, the father of computer science and, and some of the things that he has done um, and developed around artificial intelligence and, and even machine learning type of scenarios, we're still feeling the impact of that today. He had an incredible life um, and, and really helped create the future that is, is starting to come to pass today. So Alan Turing is my answer for today. And lastly, Mark, how can somebody contact you? Easiest way, they can send me an email, mark.stout at boomer.com. That's Mark with a C and Stout with an A. 
or just reach out to any of the Boomer folks and we would be happy to set something up to have a conversation. Uh, if you couldn't guess, Ed, I love talking about technology and I'm happy to do that at any point. All right. Mark Stout, Chief Innovation and Technology Officer with Boomer Consulting. Thanks so much for being a guest on the Sage Advice Podcast. Thank you. For more Sage Advice, visit and subscribe at sageadvicepodcast.com.